Hello everyone, it's Angel here and we're doing Battle 5 Mission 3 Reimagined. Uh, let's play TFTC. Uh, it's a convoy attack, same as a uh, classic mission, although again, this mission has been created from scratch. Our scouts have now confirmed the location of a rebel base in a nearby sector and further probes have also confirmed that Harkov's task force has indeed holed up here along with a rebel cruiser. After the destruction of the escort carrier Tropsabor, Harkov is looking to urgently resupply his fleet, including replacement fighters. His new rebel friends have hijacked an imperial convoy and are escorting it to him as we speak. So yeah, um, we cannot allow I uh, wanted to explain why the convoy is coming here. In the classic mission, the convoy is already coming just to sort of uh, supply the protector, but I thought it'd be better to swap things around and have you deal with the Tide Vance fleet and some of his fighters earlier on, which makes better sense for him to have a convoy to replace lost fighters and parts and supplies and munitions and all that sort of stuff. <coughs> you in taking down the convoy. The convoy is being escorted by several rebel fighters and corvettes. Eliminate the starfighter escort first, then get to work on the convoy itself. Don't bother with the corvettes as you don't have time or munitions to waste here. If you stay too long, you will be quickly overwhelmed by enemy reinforcements sent from both Harkov's fleet and the rebel base. The Imperial class Star Destroyer Devastator with Lord Vader is due to arrive very soon. So that's a change. Uh, normally it's the Imperial Star Destroyer Garrett who comes up with Vader. Uh, I decided to change it to the Devastator because that's basically Vader's flagship. Um, well, before he goes to the Executor anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I prefer the Devastator over the Garrett. Uh, I think that's a more recognizable ship to people. So we can see exactly what kind of supplies Harkov's got in his hands on. This will give us a good idea of the resources his fleet is in need of. Intelligence has confirmed the location of a rebel base in a nearby sector and that Admiral Harkov's fleet is taking refuge there. This mission will also kind of set the stage for the next mission in terms of what you're going to have to face. So this, this mission is uh, we're going to destroy the convoy at a distance but in the distance we'll be able to see the entire fleet that we're going to be dealing with in mission 4 which we can't deal with yet until the Devastator arrives. We cannot allow more Imperial supplies to fall into Harkov's or Rebel hands. So I actually put the player in an assault gunboat in this mission initially, and then very late in the game um, of making the mod, uh, I decided to swap this into a Tide Advance instead, because we just unlocked the Tide Advance, we've, we've flown it once, and then missions three and four were in an assault gunboat. And I just thought to myself, well, that's kind of shitty. I mean, we, we just unlocked this cool ship and we've only flown once, and then we're just in an assault gunboat. No, 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 we don't want to do that. And should um, So I swapped us for the TIE Advanced instead, and I just armed them with advanced torpedoes, so you can also do some convoy destruction as well. And I think that was a better decision, and it also makes the mission easier, uh, even though this is actually quite a tough little mission. It's a very short mission. I think this is one of the shortest missions in Reimagined. Um, because you really do have to kill the convoy quickly, otherwise you get overwhelmed, and a lot of your guys are going to die in this. So this, this mission is all about speed and efficiency. You do have to inspect the convoy as well, but you can just inspect them and shoot at them at the same time. And you only have to inspect half the convoy. I didn't want to make it that you have to inst inspect the whole convoy, because it's not great. But, just switching tack uh, quickly, visuals. Uh, I spent quite a while on constructing the visuals of this particular location, the, the nebula, uh, just seeing the fleet in the distance here, the convoy fleet here, and then in the, in the greater distance you can see the base and the enemy uh, fleet against this kind of uh, lava-like planet and it, it all just looks gorgeous. Very impressed with myself and of course Ilios for helping uh, get all these backdrops done. This is free! I've got the starship firing at me! So yeah, this, this is an intense little mission and it's difficult, it's hard. But I think it's quite a fun one as well. You shouldn't need to do too much dogfighting but these corvettes do make things a little difficult. Dealt with the fighters. We've already got a couple of container transports down. Take this cargo ferry. The cargo ferries and the container transports and the other armed um, 
parts of the convoy here, uh, apart from the corvettes. But as long as you can avoid the corvettes, generally speaking, and a couple of A-wings and TIE advance that mosey on over, you should be fine. Now, if you, obviously, if you did take too long to destroy the convoy, you're eventually just going to get overwhelmed by all the fighters sent in from the uh, platform and the enemy fleet in the distance. I did make sure there was enough of a delay, generally speaking, that there'll be a first wave of reinforcing fighters, but enough, not too many that you couldn't deal with it. I think it's just like a couple of A-wings and a couple of TIE advanced. I do recommend just spreading your torpedoes out here and finishing things off with lasers. You, you, you do have advanced torpedoes here, so nice and easy. Perhaps a bit too much tactical officer spam in this one still. But we're already dead, 93%. I think there's just one left. Half our guys are down. Where's that last ship? There it is. And we're done. All powder engines and let's get the hell out of here. So what's that? We're, we're three minutes into the mission and we're done. That's it. Really quick. Incoming missile. Ah, I think I'm going to get it to the, uh, the beacon before the missile gets to me. Yeah. Bye bye. And we got our reinforcements. We got Devastator, another destroyer, and a interdictor cruiser. So we've got a proper fleet here now. This will be enough to take on the Harkov task force and finish it off. So let's dock ourselves up. Report to the debriefing room at once. Now we're in the shadow of Lord Vader himself. By destroying the convoy, you have prevented Harkov from resupplying his fleet, leaving him more desperate and limited in his abilities to operate his remaining ships at full capacity. With the arrival of Lord Vader's task force, it is imperative we launch an immediate full-scale attack on the rebel base. Now, I did consider combining uh, the missions again, so once we get back here, we jump back and uh, engage the fleet, but I decided that that was too complex, it would break the mission up. Um, it would be difficult to do, So, and it makes the battle too small, three missions in the battle. Now I say that because Battle 7 is only three missions, but you know, I'll talk a bit more about that when we get there. Um, so yeah, this, this, this is a, a very short, this is probably the shortest uh, video uh, of the Let's Play. But, oh, okay, yes, uh, mid-mission cutscene, or mid-campaign cutscene. I think this is the first one that we get. I think there are three in the main TIE Fighter campaign. You get these sort of yes, mid-battle cutscenes. My master, I have tracked Admiral Harkov to a Rebel space installation. I want Admiral Harkov captured alive. We must apprehend all the traitors under his command. I will see to it personally. Do not fail me, Vader. Harkov's fleet must not escape. I'm sure they won't escape. Everything will be fine. Don't worry, Palpy. Sir, check message. Oh, we got an astromech. Not an R2D2 astromech, mind you. Let's see the emails. Sorry, Pash. I'm just too busy. I'm serving the Emperor, and I don't want to serve on the Star Destroyer called the Benevolent. Oh, we've got a TIE Advanced model now as well. I think that was actually awarded in the, the last mission, but I just forgot to, to look at it. But there we go. Beautiful model. Love it. So there we go. That was uh, Battle 3. Sorry. Battle 5, Mission 3. Uh, next time, it's the final battle. Oh, God. 
getting my my terminologies mixed up. Final mission of Battle 5. Uh, join me then, and until then, good hunting. <laughs>